Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining me this meetup. Uh, so uh, we are bringing every month a uh, meetup like this uh, with emerging technology category, so in blockchain, gaming, AI uh, related topics and a lot of uh, new areas to discuss. Uh, so this uh, month uh, we're bringing a uh, topic of decentralized finance, how you can uh, build the application uh, with uh, Neo blockchain and how you can create a decentralized finance application. And we look at uh, how to get started with this uh, area what is uh, decentralized finance and what kind of applications that is available uh, what kind of applications that we can build in the blockchain space and, uh, and then how we can actually build it using the set of development tools so we are going to look at this in today's uh, meetup session so every month uh, we are bringing uh, sessions like this uh, to discuss a lot of emerging uh, topic areas it will be really helpful uh, for everyone to get a really better understanding about the technology streams and how you can uh, use these technologies uh, throughout uh, your uh, developments and uh, throughout your journey. Uh, so uh, let's get started. Uh, so today we have uh, registrations over around 78 registrations and we are expecting a few more participants uh, uh, during the session. Uh, so uh, we'll start until that. So you can see here uh, today we are going to discuss about decentralized finance uh type of applications and how you can build one with the neo blockchain uh, how you can leverage the neo blockchain platform and how you can build a really interesting uh, applications uh, using this uh, platform uh, previous sessions uh, we discussed about uh, how you can uh, start it uh, with the neo uh, blockchain environment uh, so in this session we are going to look at how you can develop uh, DeFi solutions uh, into this uh, platform uh, so uh, right now maybe you have uh, some idea about uh, how you can leverage this technology and how you can get started with this so in this one we are going to look at how you can uh, get more uh, benefits out of it how you can get a really good kind of uh, uh, usage out of this so let's look at uh, how you can uh, do that so uh, first uh, let's cover about decentralized finance what is decentralized finance so you can see uh, it's shortened for a uh, DeFi. So DeFi, uh, which is decentralized finance, this term used for uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain based financial solutions. So if you want to create uh, some financial solution that is uh, blockchain based, you can use uh, this DeFi solution. So this is not uh, relevant to any uh, blockchain platform. Uh, you can use any blockchain uh, technology to use this. So there are, you know, Ethereum, uh, likewise, there are a lot of different uh, blockchain platforms are there. So through this session, we are going to look at how you can leverage this in the DeFi uh, space, how you can leverage in the new blockchain. Uh, so you can see uh, it could be, uh, you can create some kind of a loan application. It could be uh, some exchange or if you'd be some yield financing kind of application. So we are going to look at uh, some of the use cases, what kind of uh, applications that we can build, uh, what kind of areas that we can uh, touch upon in the uh, blockchain space and the blockchain uh, DeFi space. So that is the main uh, idea behind the today's session where we are going to look at how we can leverage these technologies to build a good uh, financial solution. Uh, so you may heard like banking applications uh, previously, like we can use some bank uh, applications or financial applications, but this technology leverage uh, one step beyond that. So we are we can use the blockchain uh, technology as our backend and we can create our own kind of a financial uh, tool or the financial instrument uh, for the customers. So we look at the process, how you can get started, what is the design thinking will be look like, how you can come up with the UI UX, uh, things like that. Okay, so you can see uh, the benefits of DeFi is flexible, open and is fast, so it's easy to use, right? So these are some of the, uh, the capabilities that we can use uh, DeFi. Uh, because uh, you can see there's no permission uh, required. So we can easily uh, interact with the relevant blockchain network and the relevant blockchain platform uh, to build uh, this kind of a, a decentralized platform. So that is one of the advantage of using this. So we can easily uh, connect. You can easily connect any given uh, blockchain network uh, to the DeFi platform. Uh, so in this one, as I mentioned, we are going to uh, look at how you can leverage Neo blockchain how we can get the features in the new blockchain into the DeFi space. That is the main idea behind the uh, today's session. Okay, and it's open. No need for any account applying. You can directly connect to your wallet 
So you know, uh, you have your wallet uh, with uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, there are like a lot of uh, wallet applications are there, uh, MetaMask, uh, uh, BCS wallet uh, like that. So you can connect this wallet application into the DeFi and you can start interacting with the application. That is uh, one of the main benefits of using this type of uh, application, right? So these are the advantages. So you don't need to provide your details like, you know, the banking application, you might need to provide a lot of information about you. So here you don't need to provide all this information. You can directly uh, communicate with the blockchain platform. You can easily communicate with the blockchain technology and the underlying uh, blockchain network. So that is a, one of the advantage of using this uh, tool where you can directly uh, use all the benefits that is coming with the blockchain interface uh, that you can easily connect. So here in this one, uh, we are going to look at how you can leverage the uh, Neo platform and how you can get a benefit most out of it from the Neo platform. So another thing is, is fast. You can uh, fastly uh, set up this. Uh, it's one of the advantage of this. So it can be, these rates can be significantly higher than the uh, traditional rates. So these are some of the use cases. You can see uh, we can use for asset management, uh, like you, uh, digital asset message, uh, management. There are a lot of apartments now. Uh, they have uh, integrated or uh, packed with the certain uh, blockchain uh, networks to so certain financial blockchain networks. So that is uh, one of the use cases. So any place that high in real estate, there are a lot of these uh, blockchain uh, companies used to do this. So the real estate uh, can be directly mapped with the blockchain network so that the value can be one to one. So it will be uh, one of the main advantage that uh, the users can get. So user can uh, get this uh, part or the piece of the apartment and they can own that relevant uh, real estate by owning a blockchain. So likewise, there are a lot of these kind of uh, things that we can set up in this. So we're going to look at that. Then compliance and know your uh, customers, then analytics and risk management, uh, derivatives, infrastructure development. So there are a lot of financial use cases we can implement uh, to uh, build DeFi solutions, right? So here we are going to look at in today's session how we can build a yield financing uh, side. So how we can uh, generate uh, interest rate and how we can get benefit of uh, increasing interest rate and giving back uh, more return to the uh, customer. So that is what we are going to look at in the today's uh, practicals. Uh, so you can see another uh, use case is insurance. So you can provide insurance solutions for your customers using DeFi. Uh, those are again, another kind of a use case. Then uh, you can also give peer-to-peer -peer borrowing and lending. So you can lend cryptocurrencies, you can give, borrow, give to uh, users to borrow cryptocurrencies. So these are traditional banking uh, things that we do. So these things that uh, we can do with a lot of stable coins uh, and stable kind of cryptocurrencies, then you have trust in those uh, net blockchain networks, then we can build solution. So they have some applications to work with. So most of these blockchains actually have now uh, applications built in, other than just having uh, these values saved in a wallet, we, they can interact. So they can do some certain activities, financial transactions, they can take uh, with these DeFi solutions. So DeFi solutions discuss about most of the financial transactions. So how you can communicate, how we can use this financial transaction. Another set of use cases uh, would be uh, digital identity, uh, insurance, uh, as I mentioned, payment solutions, decentralized organizations. So these are some of the other use cases, there are a lot of uh, DeFi solutions out there that is connected with a lot of blockchain uh, networks. Uh, so here we look at uh, specifically the Neo blockchain, how you can create a solution, what is the process like, what is the first step, what is the second step. So we are going to look at uh, in that. So Neo blockchain is uh, one of the uh, blockchain platform out there that is a lot of uh, supporting inter interoperability as well as as a developer, you can use a lot of language capabilities. So you can use C Sharp, you can use Python, Java, TypeScript. It supports multiple languages. So that is one of the benefits of using the Neo blockchain platform. Uh, so this is a one solution uh, from your environment uh, called Flamingo Finance. You can go to uh, flamingo.finance and you can see uh, how the sites look like. So uh, if you go to uh, Flamingo uh, for finance, you can see how the sites look like. Let me uh, share that in the chat as well. So you can uh, take a look at it, right? So here you can see uh, it's a DeFi solution, uh, Flamingo Finance, where we can uh, provide some value. 
and you can see the earnings uh, right we can connect our wallet right so it's, it's connecting uh, with a lot of different uh, pools so you can connect with the neo like this uh, you, uh, like that so different kind of a uh, blockchain platforms you can connect and you can leverage these capabilities into that so i have shared that link uh, you can take a look at it so likewise this is a, a certain DeFi solution so we look at how you can create a DeFi solution like this what kind of things uh, that you need to uh, make sure that you are going to achieve in order to create a DeFi solution like this so you can see this is a screenshot uh, i have already shared the website then we have uh, another one called switcho uh, that is switcho.com you can visit that site also it is a non-custodial cross-chain exchange uh, that is a DeFi solution that is also really useful uh, then we look at the process how you can build so when it comes to blockchain development you need to follow a certain set of steps uh, when you are doing the development so the first step is you can see designing your application so you can uh, start working on uh, creating uh, you know initial idea uh, prototyping stage you can come up with what kind of a the the plan you are going to have in your blockchain right then you can uh, based on that you can design your ui ux uh, your ui ux designing process so you can create user interfaces uh, related to your project uh, what is your user interfaces going to look like all these things you can develop so that is also a really good uh, important thing in today's market because uh, the customers are going to look at the user interface uh, these days really importantly so your user interface need to be really uh, uh, well equipped and nice looking that is one of the key thing uh, then you can implement smart contract so in the neo platform we can use either c sharp python uh, like different uh, languages uh, that is uh, one of the advantage so if you're already familiar with c sharp we can use c sharp if you're already familiar with python you can use python uh, if you look at other blockchain platform it's not like that you need to uh, restricted by one or two languages but here a lot of the standard language uh, the industry standard languages can be connected into this so that is the one of the advantages of uh, using this platform over another so we are you can see uh, you can use language like uh, c sharp you can use language like python javascript that is one of the main advantage of using that then we can integrate uh, front end with the back end so front end can be developed using a technology like react so you can use a technology like react to create the front end uh, then back end is a new back end new blockchain back end uh, we're going to look at how to uh, connect that then finally uh, the final step testnet and the mainnet deployment so you can test this locally uh, like you are testing any uh, software any website so you can test this locally so we need the local blockchain network to test it once you uh, successfully test it we can test it in the mainnet which means the public blockchain so once you test it locally we can test in the private uh, public blockchain so in that also they give like another test network also to test out and uh, we can test out from there as well so these are different steps that you need to follow uh, i will come to this again uh, after uh, when i move into the next slides because we are now uh, discussing each these steps in more details how we can achieve a certain steps in this each steps right so let's uh, go to the next slide uh, so here you can see uh, this is a solution uh, that we are creating uh, so here you can come up with this kind of a nice looking kind of a user inter interface so ui ux is uh, coming uh, major importance because of this reason so you need to come up with a really good uh, user interface interface and your user experience need to be really important because you are uh, you need to look at your target audience so who are going to use uh, going to buy this blockchain uh, cryptocurrency and who are going to apply or use this uh, apart from that also you need to build a community you know you need to create a telegram community discord community so these are also part of the uh, eco ecosystem so not only just uh, stopping by uh, building the website you need to also create the ecosystem so like you need to build a telegram community you need to build a discord community and you need to engage with your uh, community members then they will also uh, give feedbacks improvements right so one of the main improvement is the ui ux so they look at really nice looking this interface and they give suggestions so likewise we can also improve uh, our system our platform uh, based on their suggestions so that is uh, one of the advantage that we can have okay so here you can see like this we can decide so what's uh, the uh, main look and feel of the website looks like 
we can also see some of the similar uh, DeFi solutions that is created out there. Uh, and we can get some idea and look and feel uh, what kind of things. Based on that, we can come up with our own design and uh, we, our own functionality. And then we can start implementing the blockchain solution. So in this one, uh, we need to use uh, this uh, blockchain uh, toolkit called uh, Neo1. So Neo1 is one of the uh, main uh, toolkit that we need to use. Apart from that, uh, in terms of uh, front-end development, we need to use the React platform. So using uh, React.js, we can create a front-end. So you know uh, React.js is a uh, web development uh, tool that used for web development, uh, especially front-end development. It's uh, one of the main uh, popular tool. So we can use the React environment to do this. Apart from that, we can also use uh, uh, this uh, new blockchain to connect the backend. So that is how we can connect uh, the front-end and the backend. So that is really important uh, to connect both sides of the equation in order to uh, create this uh, software uh, platform right so here uh, in order to test we can use this uh, testnet so using testnet environment we can test and we can also get test credits right so we can also get the test credits uh, when you are uh, testing out uh, this so in the neo we can use uh, np testnet so using that we can get some test credits to uh, develop uh, our application Right, so apart from that, uh, we can use this new line wallet. So this is the wallet that we can use uh, to transact. So when you are uh, transacting with the application, uh, you are connecting to a wallet. So there are a lot of wallet tools out there. Uh, you can use uh, MetaMask is one of the main one. Uh, in the MetaMask also, you can connect any uh, kind of a blockchain network using RPC uh, configuration. So likewise, you can connect another uh, blockchain networks also into the uh, MetaMask, or you can use a specific uh, wallet that is connected with this specific uh, blockchain technology. So in this case, we can use NeoLine, uh, that is the specific wallet connected with the Neo blockchain. So these are some of the steps that we can follow in order to uh, create uh, this uh, DeFi application. So I mentioned, uh, let me go uh, back to the uh, process, so you can see, we start with the designing the application. Start with uh, thinking how how this application going to look like. What are the features? What is my customers users going to want in the solution? So we start with that process. Then we'll uh, build a prototype UI UX. So you can use to software tools like Figma uh, to uh, create this kind of a UI UX. That is a, one of the uh, main tool that we can use. Then we can create a, a smart contract. So that is in the new tool we can use C sharp. Java uh, to create the smart contract. Then we can integrate both the front end and the back end together into one platform and the one ecosystem. Then uh, we need to test it, right? We need to test the testnet and the mainnet. So once the testnet uh, testing completed, you can deploy. So your front end, you can deploy in the hosting environment. So you can use uh, cloud hosting or any hosting provider. Then the back end, you are connecting to the Neo blockchain. So then uh, through the wallet, you can transact. So the customers can transact in the application. So that is how uh, this entire uh, web-based platform works and how a smart contract going to connect to the application. So let's look at uh, how you can start uh, building this kind of application. Uh, so first thing is you need to set up Node.js environment in your, in your working uh, machine. Uh, then after that, we can look at how we can install a React application and how you can install a uh, new uh, frameworks, right? So here uh, in this machine, uh, you can see, uh, uh, this is the uh, previously uh, running output. So you can see it will be like this. So this is the one we are going to look at how you can build this kind of application. Uh, so you can see, uh, this is how we interact with the application. So where we can connect to the wallet, uh, deposit, uh, redraw the wallet, harvest, so likewise, this is a yield financing application. That means you can uh, put some uh, cryptocurrencies into uh, your own cryptocurrencies into this. Then after, let's say one month, after one week, you will get a certain return out of it. It's like, you know, you put a certain value into bank and you'll get it. Uh, you need to look at the trustness of the blockchain network, you know, to use it uh, because there are some recent uh, stories like that in terms of the blockchain, uh, uh, the value of the blockchain. So that's why you can use the trusted networks like Neo Blockchain, Ethereum, 
like that. So these are really stable kind of a blockchain networks that we can use uh, in the uh, transacting uh, with the, uh, this application. So the developers can uh, connect, developers can build this application. So this application can create by developers, right? So they can leverage these features and they can get a, like a subscription fee or membership fee from that. So if you look at a web platforms also, uh, they follow the same principle. Uh, you build a web platform, then uh, developers charge or the users charge a subscription fee or some kind of a, a payment, right? For every transaction. So if you look at the blockchain exchange, there's a certain transaction fee that uh, this exchange charge. So that is how they going to earn revenue uh, from the blockchain exchange. So likewise, you can add this certain transaction fee, but it need to be uh, really user-friendly or usable for the users. Otherwise, they might uh, not going to use your uh, platform. It need to be more affordable or user-friendly need to be for the users. So here you can see a site like this. So we look at how to create uh, something like this. Uh, so let's uh, start with like this, uh, how you can get started. So this is an MP folder. So I can uh, go into uh, this folder uh, from command line, right? Like this, uh, then what I can do is uh, I can uh, start. So make sure you have installed uh, Node.js environment. So if you are installing the Node.js environment, what you can do is you can start uh, create a React application because we can start working with the React application. So we can say uh, create uh, npx create React app my app like that you will create the initial uh, react application so this is be your front end right your front end will be mostly can be uh, it could be other front end technologies like vue.js angular js like that but uh, react can be also a really good uh, solution where a lot of blockchain uh, networks uh, blockchain platforms are connecting to the react platform uh, to connect as a front end so that is a really good way of connecting your front end uh, using react so you can uh, easily uh, create this uh, create react app command. So using this command, you can uh, create a simple react application first. So this will be um, just like a normal uh, react environment, just like a normal uh, react application. But once you build that, you can start connecting the new blockchain part. Then you can see how you can collaborate further, how you can add the new blockchain part. So here you can see uh, we have added we have added the uh, React part here, so it is successfully added. Uh, so it will take a couple of like seconds to minutes. So now it's okay. So once you do that, uh, we can see uh, if you go to the folder. So we can see here that there's a new uh, folder called My App being created, and we can go to this folder. And here you can see in the SRC folder, these are the JavaScript that is the front end. So that is your React application. It's still, this is not blockchain enabled. This is just a React application. Uh, then what you can do is you can uh, connect that uh, like this. So you can uh, go to this one, which is my app, CD my app, right? Uh, there you are, like this. Now we can start and we can see what's the default templates looks like. So we can say npm start like this, and uh, we can start uh, this application. So this will start uh, the default application like this uh, and uh, you can see it's going to start in the local host 3000 uh, so uh, you can see uh, then it's going to launch and start with the template the basic application so then uh, on top of that we can start working on our application so you can see this is the the basic application like the hello world kind of a template so we didn't write any single line of code to do that you can see we can uh, we did uh, uh, we didn't write any single line of code to do that. We, we did this uh, just by uh, using this command uh, where we can uh, see uh, how much easily we can do that, right? So that is uh, a creating of the React application. So once you do that, what you can do is we can start working on building the new application or the blockchain part of it. So here you can see uh, in this one, we have the React folder. Uh, so, so far, uh, this one. So we have the React folder here, uh, my, uh, this one, my app, React folder, like that. So next step is uh, we want to install another tool called Yarn. So Yarn is uh, another uh, package stream uh, that we can use to uh, support uh, some of the package installation. So let me stop our application like this. So now I can uh, install Yarn. Uh, so I can say npm uh, install 
like this uh, global yeah so this will uh, install the yarn so yarn is uh, is a uh, more like npm but it's much faster so if you want to get the installation faster or some packages are also uh, compatible with yarn uh, so you can install yarn like this so once you do that we can start installing our new uh, blockchain package so let me show the official website uh, which is this one you can see here which is uh, called uh, neo one so this one is called neo one so this is containing uh, the official uh, documentation and how you can get started with the uh, neo integration into the react side or the front end side uh, so this is a kind of a, it's, it's have a lot of tutorials you can follow through and you can see so we are doing uh, some steps uh, based on this so what we are going to do is we are going to install uh, this you can see here uh, before we get started we can uh, initially set up all these things then you can see you can have uh, yarn add your one so like that so this is the first command that we want to execute uh, in this uh, yarn add your one suit so this containing uh, this official new one package uh, that is already installed in the uh, npm libraries so that we can enable in this project so we can say uh, like this uh, then you can see uh, it's going to install this uh, set of packages yarn add new one suite uh, which is going to install all the supporting packages for the uh, new base uh, blockchain development uh, for the front end application right so it's, it's like uh, for building a DeFi like solutions so you can build any kind of a front end back end solutions using Neo one so that is a, one of the uh, supporting frameworks uh, that is out there that we can use right so it will take uh, again uh, some time uh, to install uh, you can see it's installing uh, right now uh, this uh, Neo one package so let me also share this uh, url uh, it will be also useful for you there are a lot of uh, tutorials and documentation here so here you can see uh, there are step by step tutorial on how you can uh, do that so you can go through this after the uh, session and also we'll be sharing uh, this recording so if you miss any steps uh, you can again go back and again uh, you can uh, try out these steps as well that is uh, one of the uh, easy uh, steps we are having with using these digital tools so we will be uh, sharing this uh, recording as well so you can take a look at it so here you can see uh, we are installing this uh, this new one switch so that is uh, one of the main package that uh, we can have uh, to set up all these two together so that is uh, one of the main package uh, that we can use to set up this so once you install that uh, it will install a new set of uh, uh, folders into that right so it will install new set of uh, folders into that so that will enable uh, that will enable new blockchain development into the react project so those are the steps that you need to follow so this will enable uh, this uh, blockchain uh, platform uh, mm -hmm. package into this right so that is a uh, one of the ways that uh, we can use that right so after that uh, what you can do is we can initialize so we can say once we uh, install the package next command is to initialize so we can say like uh, neo one right neo one like init so we can use the init command uh, to initialize right so we can say yeah. right so we can use the new one command line uh, so using the new one command line what you can say is like we can use the uh, i think it's not yet installed let me check Let me try the installation one more time. Okay. So meantime, if you are having any questions, uh, you can ask. Uh, if you are having any uh, questions, in the meantime, you can ask. Uh, any clarification, any questions, uh, you can ask while you are uh, we are building this uh, solution, right? So it's really important to understand the basics and fundamentals uh, to get started with this. So in the tutorial also. I have shared these things so you can uh, try it out so you are uh, you may be uh, coming from uh, different stages right so you could uh, maybe very beginner maybe know a little bit maybe uh, create uh, some 
uh, solutions beforehand. So it will be uh, really easy to uh, look at like, what is the missing things and how you can uh, set up everything together, right? So once you install uh, the new suite, then what you can do is uh, we can uh, look at uh, how we can initialize and how we can get started with that. Right, so, okay. Maybe you can try like uh, npm install new one first. Yeah, yeah, it's using the yarn command. Yeah. I think maybe yarn install new one, maybe that will help. Uh, yeah, I already installed it. Uh, just try uh, yarn install and then new one, just new one. And that's it. So, uh, it's a uh, part of the, no, it's part of the new switch. Uh, okay, so add, add, okay. So it's already yarn, added. Add new one. Yeah, yeah. So it's already a part of the new one switch. So what you can do is uh, we can say, uh new one in it uh, command so that is to initialize so still i think that package is not yet uh, correctly installed oh, let me check. so the coconut is installed it's still installed just try yarn add new one yeah uh i already type it yeah yarn add uh, New one, yeah. Okay. And maybe after that, just restart the terminal and let's see. Sometimes the terminal doesn't refresh. Yeah, that's right. Well, these two are coming from two, two different sites. Uh, that's the issue. <laughs> so yeah, right. It's not just like the React application itself. It's, this is connecting from Web three and blockchain interfaces. Yeah. Let's see. Because uh, once you do that, uh, it should. Uh, generate this folder so yeah you can see uh yes this uh folders uh hmm. yeah uh, so it will create a set of folders so that uh, in the final. right so it will create this kind of a uh, new one uh, set of folders like this uh so let me show you this Okay. Yeah, new one in it. Nothing new one build there. Not, uh, let's say not, yeah, new one build first. Yeah, that is the one. Yeah, new one build. Once you do that, uh, we can do the build. Yeah. Uh, so build. yeah, uh, do the build. Yeah. So then uh, we can do the init. So once you do the uh, new one build, we can say yeah, new one init. Uh, let's try the yeah. 
there are a couple of commands they are no one then does this generate okay so yeah um, okay so it's already built so then now we can say uh, new one start do we need to write yarn before or new one start will work uh so, so uh, no uh, because uh, this is coming with the you know, uh, see so they are not recognizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming with there. Uh, yeah, this is the CLI. These are the CLI kits so you can see here. So this is uh, coming with the yarn. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, these commands: uh, init, build, generate, new, start, stop, like that. So these all are the command lines so that we can have and uh, the returns are there. So once uh, you install, you can build, and then you can in turn uh, do the compile. Uh, one one might reason might be that new one is not added to path variable uh no it's automatically adding into this yeah hmm. so you don't need to do that uh, so here you can see it's added then you get this config file right so the new one config is there so you can see here a uh, uh, new one config file uh, so here you can set up things like network so at hmm. the moment we didn't connect any network or anything so you can uh, connect uh, maybe a lo local network or the Test network uh, in that uh, so that tool like Ganache it might not work. So you will set up the local network separately, or you can set up the test network of the uh, new blockchain. So here uh, we don't have a set up that at the moment. So that's why uh, the issue comes. Uh, so we can set up that. So this will add the supporting uh, set of classes like this. So here you can see the contract uh, Hello World uh, is types uh, using TS TypeScript. So it'll add this uh, Hello World. Uh, one uh, new one smart contract so like that so there are a lot of uh, supporting packages into this uh, then uh, it's going to connect into the uh, back end and the front end react environment so using the similar setup so if you uh, connected uh, the ethereum or uh, the bsc kind of a blockchain network it's just follow you can follow the uh, same setup uh, to connect here so it will have the uh, the migration like this uh, the migration.js so you can migrate and uh, it will create a JSON binary. Uh, so then the JSON binary will connect uh, to the uh, front end. So likewise, uh, just like the similar technique. So if you are already familiar with Ethereum or Binance chain uh, based deployment, is follow the same uh, set of principles uh, to connect into this uh, blockchain network as well. So once you do that, uh, next step is like you can initially do the uh, this installation. Uh, so let me uh, also share the, this. Uh, uh, the init command so you can also give it a try so let me do this uh, in the chat you can also give it a try it's just creating the npm and uh, can also give it a try so once you do that uh, let you can uh, connect the front end uh, so here uh, we are going to connect uh, this application uh, this one uh, so here uh, this is the application we have created so this have a uh, main.js which is containing uh, the UI. So there is a uh, UI is the one that uh, is connecting. So where we have uh, created uh, several things like stake function, withdraw functions, like that uh, we created the user interface that is uh, generating and then is connecting to the JSON backend. So uh, what you need to do uh, integration, that is the toughest part in any uh, blockchain uh, application. Uh, so let me go back to the slide before coming to here. So once you uh, design, because you can you design the UI much more easily, much more effectively using uh, the React. So React front end, you can just uh, design the user interface. So once you do that, uh, you need to connect uh, the integrate. So integration is the one uh, in here. You can see this one. It is the one that uh, taking a lot of effort uh, because it's not like connecting a database. Uh, so you need to connect to the blockchain network uh, using a binary. Uh, json format so that is one uh, taking a lot of uh, development effort and you need to test out because uh, uh, you don't directly connect to the real blockchain also that is another challenge so you connected to the maybe the test network uh, or the uh, test net or the local blockchain so these are 
some of the challenges common uh, to uh, blockchain deployments where uh, you need to uh, face out and you need to find uh, fine tune uh, these things how you can figure it out this uh, so once you connect that you can connect to the testnet and the uh, mainnet deployment and you can easily uh, set up that so most of your effort will go into the last two steps where you can uh, easily create the front end and you can develop the smart contract but when you're going to connect that is the one that taking a lot of effort uh, especially uh, connecting uh, converting these two binary and connecting uh, from the json so likewise you can you need to get uh, for a certain uh, json file right you need to get from a, a certain uh, this is the word full.json so likewise it uh, need to uh, compile into a json format right so you are a smart contract uh, once you build that it will convert to a certain json file and you need to retrieve the set of functionalities from that so then only uh, through the web3 uh, like uh, the certain the, the client interface we can understand and we can see uh, what's the the, uh, the output going to look like right so that is the connecting or the integration part so until that uh, those two will be uh, running individually like that so that is the one you need to take a lot of effort uh, to uh, find out and finalize but this tool set giving you the same capabilities so if you look at other development also they have some tool set so here also we have the new uh, blockchain toolkit to support that so let me uh, run this output and uh, show the uh, method so here uh, this one let me uh, run this one so here you can see uh, let me start this so this is the complete solution so here you can see uh, uh, this one is connected uh, uh, with the blockchain so it's going to start up so this is the the front end that now connected with the the once you do the initialization and uh, building your smart contract and it's going to connect to the back end uh, where you can connect to the uh, wallets like this one uh, the new line is uh, one specific wallet uh, that you can connect so here you can see uh, you can connect to either testnet or mainnet so the testnet credits uh, you can easily get uh, there are a lot of sites i showed earlier so you can go to that site and get the test credits uh, test new and uh, you can use that to transact and see whether it's behaving according to our requirement and then uh, you need to have main net credits in order to transfer into the real uh, blockchain network like that so you can use the test net credits uh, to uh, transact uh, and uh, transact with this right so likewise you can build up so this one uh, uh, this solution is uh, i will explain about that also uh, so this is a yield financing solution that means uh, certain we can create a certain kind of a, a token or the certain kind of, kind of a, uh, the uh, LP token that's going to uh, uh, use against a, a certain uh, currency. So here we are using Neo as our main currency, and also we can use uh, you can see Cake Neo, Cake uh, BNB like that. Uh, the we can uh, pick against certain currency. So we call as creating a liquidity pool. Uh, so you know. To have uh, pancake swap uh, sites like that that's doing this uh, and uh, those kind of uh, liquidity pool we can create and we can generate uh, a set of new uh, currencies and uh, we can do the certain interest uh, to uh, provide this value so that is a certain d5 solutions that we can build and the, the customers who are using that going to use this capability so here you can see this is running in the local host then uh, we need to host this so hosting is uh, the backend side, uh, I have shown the network component uh, earlier. So in the Neo One config, uh, in here you need to connect. So if it is a testnet, you can provide the testnet uh, blockchain. Also, you can use Neo Tracker. Then you can see uh, these uh, transaction details. Then if it is a public net, you need to uh, main net. You need to put that configurations here. Then when you're hosting local host, this one also you need to host in a certain server. So you can use uh, different like cPanel hosting or uh, even the cloud hosting uh, we can use a different kind of a hosting environment to host but also you need to make sure that dependencies so uh, that is another challenge uh, when you come to hosting environment or the live environment uh, is completely different there are some other challenges in terms of HTTP certifications and in terms of uh, deployment all these things and also there are other concepts like things like devops you need to also have like CICD pipeline things like that if you want to uh, do the incremental kind of deployments things like that 
Uh, so these are the other things that common for any kind of platform, not only for blockchain, but these are also you need to uh, familiar with uh, to build a complete solution. Because uh, once you set up that, you can follow the same principle and you can apply for any any solutions that you're going to build. So that is what we need to have a good standards on uh, creating these kind of solutions and how you can uh, build this kind of application. So that is what we are targeting this kind of uh, the workshop sessions. Uh, to get you a really good understanding about the steps and how you can integrate because these are some of the things uh, not discussed and you cannot find in the internet as well some of the things are not directly shown so you need to do a lot of additional research and things like that so here we make a platform uh, to get more understanding about these steps and how everything can be connected and how easily you can build uh, blockchain solutions right so like this you can see uh, in this one uh, you have connected uh, the both the new one and the blockchain together and we have the config but still uh, similarly we have the packet.json for the react so this one uh, is running locally in the local host but uh, then you need to host this in the uh, the uh, in a you know the cpanel or cloud hosting then uh, the blockchain network also you need to connect with the live blockchain then any users coming into the site they will start trading they will start using then once you stop the site, actually your journey can stop where, as I mentioned, you need to build a community. So a blockchain is all about community. So you need to build a community against the platform you are creating. So you can give a name. So you can see, I shared one example earlier, uh, Flamingo Finance. So likewise, sometimes you get a domain like .finance uh, for domain uh, the DeFi application. Then you need to build a brand and you need to create a community. So there are a certain set of uh, steps that we can follow things like a discord community uh, telegram community reddit uh, likewise uh, you can have medium articles so likewise certain uh, set of uh, community activities that you need to do in order to make that attractive uh, for the users then uh, once you uh, uh, create this content or once your presence in this uh, in uh, the social environments then uh, people will looking into your solution and they will start working or start uh, trading in your solution so that is what you get more momentum and people start uh, using your application right so this uh, DeFi application is a quite a high volume so majority of the blockchain applications uh, out there are DeFi applications uh, because uh, blockchain itself is used for financial uh, related activities financial transaction money is the key part of the blockchain ecosystem so uh, blockchain applications wise the DeFi uh, sits on that's why really important part to provide uh, load that capability back to the uh, users, right? The blockchain uh, DeFi solutions are, that's why really important in the blockchain uh, ecosystem itself. So let's go back to the slide since we are closing up the time. So like this, uh, we can uh, finalize the user interfaces and we can use the uh, Yarnet Neo1 switch uh, to install the package and we can use the testnet uh, to test it out. And as I mentioned, you can use the Neo1 wallet uh, to test it out. And these are some of the commands uh, that we can use. Uh, so I have shared the site, also you can take a look at it. Uh, in the tutorial, you can start working on that tutorial and you can start practicing on this. Uh, it's step by step is provided in that tutorial. It will be really helpful uh, for you to uh, work on that uh, tutorial. And then after this session, you can go through that. And as well as we'll be sharing uh, this recording, uh, you can go through and look at the steps as well. So here we can see uh, like this. So it'll add this kind of a Neo1 folder into your existing uh, React project. So it'll add this Neo1 folder. So that is going to connect. So it's not just copying it, it's installing into the node module and the package.json. So it's going to integrate into the uh, existing uh, React project, right? Then in terms of deployment, uh, you can deploy, as I mentioned, Horoku deployment is there. Uh, you can deploy in cpanel deployments you know sites like uh, godaddy you can use so you can use uh, aws or azure kind of a deployment in terms of i mean in terms of front-end deployment backend will be uh, you are connecting to the new blockchain but the front end you can connect into those platforms and you can use the uh, features on those platforms because this is ultimately a react application uh, also you can use uh, like angular or uh, vue.js kind of platform as well okay so the next workshop we are looking at uh, metaverse development so we are going to look at how 
the new uh, platform uh, can use to leverage uh, to the metaverse development. Uh, so that is more about the gaming and uh, 3D, 2D content and how you can leverage uh, the new blockchain and the blockchain environment itself uh, to create a metaverse application. So you can see nowadays there are quite discussion about uh, building uh, metaverse applications, but there's not enough uh, tools uh, or the education materials in terms of how to create a one, how to start and how to build this kind of a solution. So that is what we try to address. Where we look at uh, how you can get started, how to connect uh, and how you can build this kind of a solution. You know, sites like Decentraland is really popular uh, in terms of uh, creating metaverse uh, solution. So likewise, we look at how you can integrate uh, 3D or 2D content and build this kind of a Web3 environment in metaverse development and how you can integrate new blockchain uh, like that. So we are looking to add more and more uh, sessions like that, a lot of like uh, innovative and a lot of uh, advanced topics uh, that's uh, going with the uh, the market trends. Uh, so that will be, uh, we are looking uh, forward to have this in the next uh, workshop, uh, metaverse development as a part of the uh, workshop series that we are covering uh, in this month. So if you have any uh, further questions we can ask, uh, this is the official site, uh, neo1.io, and there's a, a new uh, one, uh, a new blockchain uh, official uh, developer uh, resource also that I have shared in the group. You can take a look at it. Uh, and also we'll be sharing this uh, meetup recording. Uh, maybe uh, later today, we will share the meetup recording so you can take a look at it as well. Uh, so if you have any uh, further questions, uh, we can have a few more minutes uh, to discuss uh, regarding uh, blockchain or your blockchain or DeFi application. Uh, if you have any suggestions or feedback, you can uh, send to our email address. Uh, just is I'm yeah, like if you have any questions, of course we can discuss. So do we have a Discord channel or Slack channel where like we can communicate while developing something? Yeah, so uh, we have a Discord and Telegram channel. So uh, it is, uh, I have shared in the meetup group. Uh, uh, it is called, uh, the, let me share it in the chat as well. Just give me a second. Okay. Yeah. So I have shared in the meetup as well. So we have two uh, Telegram and Discord channel dedicated to emerging technology. So anything uh, trending and any anything related to that, we are discussing in these two groups and uh, any upcoming events, things like that, we are also discussing. And so you can join uh, the telegram and the Discord. Any other questions? So do keep engaged into our uh, meetup group. So uh, we'll uh, every month, as I mentioned, we are bringing in a lot of uh, new innovative topics. It will be really helpful and also uh, time to time we'll also bring a lot of like uh, promotions and uh, opportunities that we get uh, from our partners so then we, we have a lot of competitions uh, uh, and other events uh, invitation for the events regional events uh, global events so things like that a uh, lot of giveaways uh, so uh, keep engaged with that so we'll also communicate those things also uh, to you to the meetup group uh, so one, uh, keep engaging. one question like the application sample application which you demoed uh, do we have it like live on some github or some source where we can actually see it's working because i mean do we have a docker image available where we can install on cloud or if we have some source code available so that we can check that how it is done for a reference yeah so this uh, new one uh, toolkit have this uh, the sample project uh, so uh, i think uh, can that uh, let me in that uh, you have a local local as a docker version uh with this yeah so you can see that's a mm -hmm. local deployment yeah uh, so you can get the directly the node and you can start uh, building that so they ask this uh github one that they are connecting uh mm -hmm. you can uh, look at get it from there yeah not the exact one i showed you but a similar one yeah okay okay Because this is officially developed one, uh, so officially recommending uh, this one. Of course, uh, this uh, doesn't have any dependencies or anything. This officially uh, supported by them. Yeah, that is why. Yeah, because you always always want to go for official things, and if, if not there only, you need to use the community and other plugins to support with the development. Okay. Uh, any other questions? 
earlier we had the timing in the uh, different uh, timing now i think uh, this timing is more comfortable to you so we'll uh, try to have it uh, next sessions around this timing uh, so it should be portable uh, so thank you everyone then uh, joining for today's uh, session i hope you learn a lot of things uh, and uh, we will share the meetup recording uh, keep engaged to our uh, meetup group as well uh, and looking forward to seeing you again thank you thank you yeah thanks for this and yeah thank you thank you